One of the nicest things of this macro plugin software is that it allowed us to make set stacks in a very convenient way. So first of all, we have to pick here the Flink configuration. And then within this software, we select the range in which we want to do the set stacks. Like for example, in this case, we've got this center position and we made set stacks 4.5 micrometers above and below each of them space with 0.3 micrometers, so in total 19, 19 layers. So to do this, in the macro plugin, we select flim, we select set stacks, we activate it, and we can select the number of frames we would like to have the pl per layer. For example, here I can just type, yeah, five, it's okay. We can give a name for the file, this is daisy polling, And all those different set stacks, they're going to they're be grouped in a group name, and this I can also name. Like, for example, set stacks. So when all of, once all of this is set, the only thing to do is to run the acquisition. And for this, we've got a button here that, unfortunately, due to the resolution of, this of the screen for the video, cannot, it's, it's not fitting within the screen. But if I just activate it, it starts to run. So once the image, once the acquisition has finished, all the data are gathered in the folder. which have name set stack daisy pollen so I select it I go to analysis and then I go to grouped analysis group flim and I click start so the images are being loaded all 19 layers and the first thing I do is to select the tech tool I want to work with for example in this case channel 1 and I'll go to calculate the fast flame. Of course, this could also have been performed with the fitted flame. I select again the flame contrast I want to have in my set stack, for example, between one nanoseconds and I think I will put it to two nanoseconds to make run numbers. And then I go to export all images. And previously, I select the format I want to work with, for example, in this case, bitmap. I select in the computer when I want to store that data. So I go to the PicoQuant folder, and documents, and I will create a folder that will name, for example, export. So now, once the folder is created, the idea is that to transfer all that images to the NIST software so we can take advantage of its facilities and create 3D images of, of, of the Flim stack. So I go to import export create ND file from sequence and here I have to to get my data which are actually in the PicoQuant computer. Both computers are connected through a home network so I go to home group to access the PicoQuant computer, and here on the documents, I should find my folder that I had named export, which is up here. So to create the set stack, the NIST software allowed us to choose the number of layers we want to work with. We have recorded 19, and I want to work with them all, so I click 19. And I can also I, I can also tell to the software what is the space in between those layers, which in this case was 300 nanometers and I click Convert. So the image are then being transferred to the NIST software and with the mouse here I can scroll through all those 19 layers. If I then want to create the 3D image, I go to this little icon up here and here it is, our 3D stacks. 
Maybe in this case the image is a little bit blurred. If you want to have a better one, then the only thing we need to do is to collect for more time. Instead of having, for example, five frames per layer, we can increase this number to 15 or 20. And then we can gather an image like the one we show in the video 3D stack of a daisy pollen.